What up, what up, Mr. Hip Hop Vegan, Vegan coming with another video. Hopefully everybody's doing great. And today why I wanted to make this video is, um, it's 2021 about to be 2022. And I can't believe that we have a platform called Clubhouse where gangsters, bloods, crips, um, whatever set you in and those will go online and argue on the line for the government to listen. Different hip hop artists, uh, artists, uh, Gilly the Kid was on there the other day talking and, and he wasn't really arguing. Charleston White, WAC 100. I will never thought there'll be a day where rappers and, and these prominent so-called people will go online and start arguing with each other. Where they'll go online and threaten each other. Where they'll go online and, and, and say they're going to fight them, they're going to kill them, um, come to their neighborhood. Grown-ass men are doing this online, on a, on a public platform, on Clubhouse, where Clubhouse used to be a platform where you go and um, it used to be invite type shit only. I don't know what, what it is now. I do have Clubhouse, but I never go on Clubhouse. It's, I, I don't... I, I'll never throw in my life I'll see gangsters going on there arguing. Arguing online about stuff that they can't control, stuff they, they can't fix. Never thought that was shit would happen. So I'm just here sitting in my house like, what is going on in this world? People going online on, on and, and, and you know what they'll do is, and then the government comes down on them, and what they'll do is, oh, they'll use the race card. Um, they will say they got no proof, and then they have the the audio of the clubhouse situation of them arguing with each other. Never thought stuff like that would happen. Never thought with people. Right now, people snitch on the, each other all day online on Instagram, on Facebook. Uh, I don't know who. I just deactivated my Facebook or deleted the whole Facebook to tell you the truth. I just got tired of people sending me shit. These platforms, they are gifting the curse. You can go there and make money, but you can also get scammed and all that stupid shit. Because people don't have nothing else better to do. Um, so that I, I completely deleted. I still got some other Facebook pages. I just use it for the ad pages, the ad, whatever. But that's a different story. People go on YouTube and uh, incriminate themselves. People go on Instagram, like I said, and incriminate themselves. I never knew we were living in a time where people just freely give free information to the police. And police just came out with an article that they on there. They are on there doing doing their job because it's easy because you're doing it. You're giving them their, their work. There were people who go that who go on there and say they just shot somebody. They'll go on live and, and just snitching themselves. And then and when they go to court, how are you gonna fight that in court? Unless they by miracle 99.9% .9 chance you got of going to court and losing. You got that point one percent that you might win, but other than that, people are going online and and, and snitching on themselves. I never knew that shit would happen. What are your thoughts? Do you go online to Clubhouse, or are you one of these people who say, "Oh, I just use social media media for business," which is a lie. Most people, oh, I just have it there for my family. That's most of it is bullshit. Yeah, yeah, just like everybody else, I go there for the uh, for the scandals and the and the fights and stuff like that. And I'm not going to say I don't, but I go on YouTube and these people are fighting. Grown-ass people fighting online. Millionaires. Supposedly millionaires fighting online. Rappers. Uh, uh, where's this world coming through when I, I thought when it came to a time where y'all first want to talk about police and, and y'all giving them the work. Y'all giving them the alley-oop and they grabbing it and then they catching y'all. I never knew it would be a day when this, when things like this would happen. I just was thinking about this, and and the government got you caught up. The government got you caught up, and you and you okay with it? You okay with it? You okay on snitching on yourself? Cause you want to be the baddest person, this and that. I guarantee half of y'all people, half of these people go and they go and and try to deal with the Mexican cartel. It'll be a different story. So y'all go online, try to be the toughest. And, and and this and that, but you're not. You, you're just you're snitching on yourself, and I don't understand. It's like 
I never knew we were going to come to a world where this is, this is going to be the new norm of people snitching on themselves. And y'all just giving the government the alley -oop. Y'all just giving the government the, the, all the information that they need. And that's what I wanted to say, man. Y'all hooking up the government. Y'all supposed to be anti-police, anti-government, but then y'all on these platforms, which I know these police, they on there listening. They on there listening. You got, that's it. Let me, let me cut the video off. I might make a, a longer video and break, break it down even more, but I just wanted to make a superficial video about these people snitching on themselves. So thank you for watching my video. Peace.